Hey girls, so today I am doing a tag video, and this one is, as you can tell from the title, Confessions of a Shoeaholic. And it's kind of ironic because I'm sitting next to my clothes. Say hello. Um, but my shoes are right here, so I guess that makes sense. But I wanted to film in my closet for a change because I usually either film at my vanity or outside, so I wanted to kind of change up the scenery a little bit. I saw Blair's video of this, and I was pretty much in awe as well as probably everyone else that saw that video. Um, her shoes are awesome, and I'm like really jealous. I wanted to film in my closet for a change, and yeah, so I want to just jump right into this video because it might be kind of long, so let's get started. Okay, the first question is heels or flats? And for me, this is really easy. Flats for sure, because I have a pretty hard time walking around in heels. I could probably only walk in about four or five inch heels. Um, any taller than that, I am Smack. I love flat shoes. They're just easier to walk and more comfortable. I have something called plantar fasciitis in my feet and it's something where when I wear shoes that don't fit to my foot and they don't accommodate a certain way how my foot is like shaped and kind of formed, um, my feet start aching and the little tendon in my part of my foot like between the balls of your feet and your heel, that tendon, it will start, it will like kind of tear and it hurts. So I have to be really careful with, with what shoes I wear. So all of my shoes are very comfortable for me because I have that in my feet. Okay, the second question is what are your go-to shoes? And for me, they are Toms. Now, I love Toms because as I said, I have plantar fasciitis. So I want something that's going to give me a little bit of support and an arch in my shoe and something that's just really lightweight and comfortable and that kind of stretch out to my feet. So I love Toms. They are so comfortable, I can't even explain it. If you don't have Toms, please go buy them, they are amazing. And um, I have the ones in gray, and I just love these. They're, they go with anything, literally they go with everything. So these are definitely my go-to pair of shoes. Okay, the third question is, what is your favorite shoe trend at the moment? Mine is boots, and kind of just boots in general. Um, I know that's not very specific, but I just love boots boots. My favorite pair are the ones I'm wearing. I got these for my birthday. Okay, so this is what they look like. They are these kind of like uh, medium light brown uh, shiny leathered combat boots. They look like this. They have lace up the front and they do not have a zipper. It's just all the way around. Um, they have a heel. I love these pair of shoes. I got these for my birthday. They were um, $70 from TJ Maxx, so I love these. So combat boots and boots in general are pretty much my favorite shoe trend at the moment. I also love riding boots. If you see some of my fall fashion videos, you'll see my um, black Nine West riding boots and my brown and knee-high riding boots. So I love just boots in general. Um, yeah, so I just love boots. <laughs> okay, the fourth question is what is your least favorite shoe trend at the moment? And I'm trying to think. I don't think I have one. Um... You know, um, I don't really think I have a least favorite. Yeah, I don't really have a least favorite right now. Okay, the next question is, what is your most expensive pair of shoes? And I'm not positive, but I just asked my mom because I don't really keep track of it. Um, <laughs> uh, I think it's this pair. These are Uggs. Um, I think it was around 130 or 125 all the heels I own are pretty much way cheaper. They're probably like 60 and 50 or 70. This one is 125 or 130. And these are by Ugg. And they are fur. And they go pretty high up. So that's why they're um, more expensive than the shorter ones that are just kind of like ankle boots. But they have two different colors. Brown, dark brown, and medium brown. And then it has these laces that go all the way up. And I love these. I've had these since I was in 5th grade or 6th grade. I can't remember. But I got these for my birthday one year from my grandma. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure these are my most expensive pair. Um, so probably like 130 The next question is, what are my most wanted pair of shoes? Well, I pretty much just got the pair I wanted, which is... Uh, this one, I got it for my birthday, but one that I also have really been um, eyeing a lot in the store is a pair of fringe mini Tonka boots, and I was going to ask for that for my birthday, but I really didn't want to give these up because they were such a good price. They were originally, I think, 100 something, and I got them for 70 um, so I didn't want to pass that up. I think they were like 120 actually, so 70 so I thought I didn't really want to pass that deal up. Um, but the fringe mini Tonka ones are about the tall ones that I wanted. I think were they they were like a hundred dollars. So I just decided to not get those and um, kind of 
just pass those up, but those were my most wanted pair of shoes. Okay, the next question is, what is your most embarrassing shoe story? And I have one of those. Yes, I do. Okay, so I have another pair of combat boots. These ones are from um, Forever 21. I think I've mentioned these in a video. They're just like this kind of heatherette, charcoal, gray-brown color, more like a gray. So they look like this. Zippers. Okay. I was at um, a party one night at a friend's house, and it was dark outside, so um, I couldn't really see anything on the grass. And my friend and I were walking um, on the grass, and all of a sudden I kind of like, I slipped a little bit, and I thought it was water, or just kind of damp, because it was kind of moist outside, because it was like 9.30 or something. So I ended up feeling kind of this slippery thing under me, and I was like, what is that? So I think it was like maybe 10 minutes later, I smelled something really gross. I was like, what is that smell? It smells like dog. I kind of lifted up my shoe. Oh my gosh, you guys. So embarrassing. I had stepped in my friend's dog's my whole shoe, the whole bottom of my shoe was covered in it, and it was it was horrifying. It smelled disgusting. It was disgusting, and I honestly wanted to throw my shoes away, but I got home and I cleaned them, and they smell fine now, and they're clean, don't worry, but it was seriously the most embarrassing thing, and I had just bought the shoes. I think it was like a week after I bought them, and I stepped in that, and I was like, that's gross, but yeah, so that is my most embarrassing shoe story. Okay, the next question is how many pairs of shoes do you own? And I am so lazy to count, but since I don't want to say, like, I don't want to count, even though I just said that, I think I'm going to count them, so I'll be right back. So, I got a little bit lazy. I'm thinking around 35 pairs. Um, I just tried to count random ones next to me. I think it's around, like, 35. That sounds like a big number, but it's, trust me, it doesn't look like a lot. It just, it just sounds like a lot. I counted a pair that are way too small for me, and... A lot of these, a lot of the pairs I'm looking at, I don't even wear anymore, so I pretty much should just give them to um, either like Salvation Army or the Goodwill. I'm not sure. You can donate them to charity, I think. I'm not sure, but I will be donating them to a good cause because a lot of them that I just counted, I realize I don't wear and they don't fit me, so I'll be giving those away. Okay, the next question is, when was the first time you wore heels? And I'm pretty sure it was probably like fourth or third grade. We always, um, my school had a poem party and I would wear um, like a little pair of black little like open toed shoes with a little tiny heel but I remember thinking it was so tall I thought I was so so cool but it was just like really really little probably like two inches the next question is how much do you spend on shoes and like I said before I really don't spend that much on them the most I've spent is probably like 40 uh, the other more expensive pairs I was given to as a gift for either Christmas or a birthday or something. But I really, really don't spend a lot on shoes. The next question is, where are your favorite places to buy shoes? And I would say um, Nordstrom's and Target. I love Nordstrom's and Target. I love them very, very much. The next question is, do you have a pair of shoes that you regret buying? And I do. These are... Ew, it just touched my my face. That's gross. Um, these are from Forever 21. They look like little Tinkerbell flats, but they have this gold ball, and they're like a plum purple color. Um, they are so tiny. I don't know why I bought these. They're, they don't fit me, but I kind of regret buying them just because they really don't go with a lot. Because I only have a couple purple tops, and I just don't know what I wear these with. I guess I could wear them with black tights and a skirt, but I just haven't... They're just like awkward, you know? Like that pair of awkward shoes. That's these. The last question is, show your favorite pair of shoes. The first pair that I love are these Oxfords. And these are kind of like a mesh um, material on the side. And then they have some eyelet detailing. And they're like this light brown color. These are from a website called pinkeyes.com. Um, yeah, so I love these. They're really cute. And I love Oxfords for fall with a pair of sheer black tights or um, a dress. It's just so, so cute. So I love these. My next favorite pair of shoes are these right here, and I think these are like four inches or five inches tall. I'm not really good at eyeing this, but I think it's like four inches. Um, these are from Madden Girl, so not Steve Madden, but Madden Girl. I don't know what that is, but it's Madden Girl. And I got these at a store called DSW, and it's a warehouse place where they sell um, marked down shoes. And they are just these black kind of like, I don't know, they're black platform heels and they're just so 
cute on. I've worn these to so many school events and dances. It's insane. But okay, so they look like this. They're, they, I don't know why they look really short on camera, but they're super tall on. And they have this really cool, like, stretchy material. They are so uber cute on. Like, oh my goodness gracious. And bonus, oh my goodness. They feel like slippers. I could walk a mile in these without my feet hurting. I just love shoes that are comfortable because I have plantar fasciitis and I need comfortable shoes. My last favorite pair of shoes, I think you guys have all seen, and these are from Nine West. These are my nude um, heels, and they're not like really tall because I can't walk in them. I, I don't know how people walk in these big heels that look like you're just gonna tip over like an Eiffel Tower or something. I just don't get it. But I love this height, it's perfect. They're so classy and they go with literally so many different things. That's why I love these. They're very versatile and they are just a dream come true. Very comfortable and really squishy inside. I just love these. And my last favorite pair of shoes ever, like ever, moccasins. My moccasins. These are by Mini Tonka and I have had these for probably three years now. They still fit me, which is pretty surprising because my feet grew, but they're in a size seven. And, oh wait, no, because my feet is, my foot, my feet, my feet, my foot. My foot is still a size seven, so actually these might be like a six and a half, but they still fit me because they kind of stretch out. They're in the brown um, suede, I think, yeah. And they have little fringies, and they're so comfortable. They go with a lot, and they look really cute with skinny jeans, like light wash. Um, I love these, so these are definitely a favorite pair of shoes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tag video. I hope you all leave a video response, or you can just post in the comments your favorite pair of shoes or you can answer all the questions in the comments. I really would love to see what you guys like and your favorite shoe trends and all that good stuff. And I hope you guys are having a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye.